I'm not in the shed tonight. I'm actually in my little lab and probably a big surprise to many people, I'm working on the Enigma machine again. I'm waiting for various car parts to arrive. So at the moment, there isn't a lot I can do on the Riley. I thought it's a great time to actually try and get this thing finished because I'm so close to the end. Um, it's ridiculous. It's taking so long, to be honest. So tonight I came out here and have started on the wiring loom. Um, I've already done part of it previously for the entry wheel here. You can see the wiring there and um, also half of the wiring on the on the plug board. That's all kind of under there. So today I've been working on the wiring that goes between uh, the keyboard and the lamp board. And then the final part will be from the keyboard to the plug board. And it's all temporary at the moment. Um, everything's held with little pieces of tape. Eventually I'm going to go back and I will cable lace everything neatly, which is what that cotton wrapping, uh, basically where you, you, you bundle the string together with, with cotton like that to keep it all nice and tight, keep all the wire bundles nice. So once I've finished the wiring, I'll, I'll do that. Um, and when you're doing wiring like this, it's very important to check all the connections, obviously, especially before you go and spend ages cable lacing it all. So the normal way is you kind of buzz them through. Um, it's a little bit difficult in circuit here, but as I was trying to figure out how was I going to test this thing, I realized I could cheat. Um, because of the nature of the Enigma wiring, um, the, way, the way it's wired up through these, these micro switches that I'm using, I realized if I temporarily swap the two connections that go to the keyboard, I can actually effectively hardwire each lamp to each key um, and test them. And that's exactly what I've done. I've got it hooked up to my power supply here. And because I've got them wired directly, there's just a one-to-one -one relationship between each key and each lamp. So um, they're not very bright at the moment. We can bump the voltage up a bit. From memory, these are 12 volt bulbs. Um, I think I've got about nine volts going through it. There we go. And by doing this, I can test each of the lamps. Um, and that's working pretty well. So now I know all those connections are good. I'm going to um, swap around the pins on the connectors so that they're actually in the correct place. And I'm going to wire in, uh, do the cabling that goes between here and the plug board up there. This is where I've got up to tonight. I've done the wiring to the front here. Uh, the, these little connectors, they're just cheapy ones from China. They're not the best. Um, they're definitely not as good as the, the, the proper brand ones. But once all the cables are, are actually laced together, tied in place, they'll be fine because they won't be able to move. Um, and so far, I have just left a bundle at the end, which all has to be um, hooked into the plug board at the back there. Um, and then that should be it for the wiring. I will also make up some nice leads for the, the power leads. And uh, I'm not sure what I'll power this thing off. Uh, I was probably just going to use one of these six volt lantern batteries because all it's doing is running light bulbs um, unlike the the german enigma machines this polish du duplicate doesn't have a space for the battery um, it actually has storage here for the the two spare rotors so that's where i'm going to leave it tonight um, i might upload this tonight because I'm finding it's taking hours and hours to, to upload my car videos, so I'll try and keep these a little bit shorter and just make them quicker to get out. 